In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy Minecraft builds to another world. Now to do this, make sure you have cheats activated. Then you want to go to the chat and then type in this particular command slash give at s and then structure underscore block. And we're going to be using this block in order to copy and paste builds to other worlds. So go ahead and just type in that command. Then you're going to get this structure block. Now, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and find the structure that you want to copy and then put it to a different world. So let's say, for example, you wanted to go ahead and copy this house. What we would need to do is we would need to take the structure block and then put it in one of the corners of the build. So let's go ahead and put it on the bottom left corner, just like so. And then you will notice that we will get like this box and we need to make sure that the entire build can fit inside of this box. So in order to actually make adjustments, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on it. Then you guys can go ahead and change up the size. For example, you could change the amount of blocks and stuff like that. And basically you want to go ahead and adjust this until it fits your build perfectly. So I'll be right back with you guys once I went ahead and fixed mine. <clears throat> okay, so I just selected my entire build over here and you'll notice that it will kind of get like this ground area over here. So in order to remove it, what you want to do is for offset and for the Y coordinate, you want to change it from negative one to zero then it is going to go ahead and remove it. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and give your build a name. So I'm going to be calling it build one, just like so. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on this button that does say export. All right, once you press on that, it is now going to go ahead and open up a folder on your device. And you just want to select where you actually want this structure to be saved. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it over here in my documents folder. So go ahead and just press on export just like that. And now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and load into the world that you're trying to paste the build into. And by the way, if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far, consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where you're easily able to make a Minecraft server with you and all of your friends. The best part about having your own Minecraft server is that you have full control over everything. You don't have to worry about server resets, hackers, or anything like that because when you own your own server, you get to make all the rules and the decisions as well. You can also spice things up by making your server crossplay, making it bedrock only, Java only. You guys can also include plugins, mods, and even mod packs. So guys, if you ever thought about making your own Minecraft server, now is the perfect time to do it. And if that's something you're interested in, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. Okay, so once you load it into your other world, all you want to do is you also want to make sure that cheats are enabled and you just want to type in the same command that we did previously, which is slash give at s and then structure underscore block. Then you want to go ahead and find where you want to paste your build. So let's go ahead and just paste it right over here, for example, and you just want to select on your structure block. And now what you want to do is you want to select on this option that says load. Then you want to go ahead and select on import just like so. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and locate the structure that you did save previously. So again, our file was called build1.mc structure. So go ahead and just import it just like so. And over here, it's actually going to show you like the ground on where the structure is going to be placed. So again, if you want to make adjustments, you can go ahead and change up the offset if you want as well. You guys could decide whether you want to include entities, water log, etc. And you guys could even make like an animation out of this if you wanted to. But again, that's completely up to you. But for this video, I'm just going to keep it simple and I'm just going to go ahead and select on load just like so. And now when we go ahead and return back over to Minecraft, you will notice that the house is actually pasted in and it did 100% work. So guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.